What's going on guys, Gamer King Tario here, and we are less than one week away from Diablo 3, so we're going to finish up our series of going through the classes with Diablo 3, and today we're going to look at the Wizard. Now, the Wizard is probably the most traditional of the classes in Diablo 3. It's your standard fantasy, you know, cloth-wearing, ranged, elemental damage-dealing character that you'll find in most fantasy games kind of like the mage in warcraft if you are a warcraft player if you play other blizzard games uh, but pretty much in any kind of fantasy aspect it's going to be your you know your light armor it's going to use your elemental magic uh, but there are some things that make the wizard unique in diablo 3 so besides all the great elemental damage stuff that you get you know with flames lightning ice bolts all that stuff is there all that stuff that traditional stuff is there the the big key to the wizard especially in the later levels is going to be the area of effect attacks you know this is going to be your aoe machine when all of these hordes and hordes of enemies are coming at the higher difficulties and you've got you know your barbarian up front uh kind of as the tank a sword and board got a shield and taking the brunt of damage the wizard is going to be able to just lay to waste all of these mobs they're going to be able to put out huge area effect damage dealing spells so while doing all those great big aoe spells are obviously going to be very important uh the wizard is in a lot of danger when they're up close you know they have a very light armor and they're not able to take huge amount of damage so they do have a couple spells that are going to be able to protect them they're going to be able to have an armor bonus uh they're going to be able to create clones of themselves to trick enemies on the battlefield they're also going to be able to have some minor CC, such as being able to slow enemies or turn them around in a lot of different ways. So they are going to be able to protect themselves. They're not going to be out and open. If you're someone who plays solo by themselves, the wizard is definitely going to be an option. So you may have noticed in the video that the resource for the wizard is not blue. It is not mana. It's actually arcane power. And this is actually the opposite of mana. Whereas the mana, the witch doctor uses mana, and that has a larger pool that regens slower. And on the opposite side is the arcane power, which has a smaller pool, but it regens much, much quicker. This has the decided advantage that you're almost always able to spam your lower level spells. You know, your, your tier 1 spells, you're almost always able to spam them, but you still have to keep in mind resource management with arcane power for your uh, higher level and your AoE spells. Well everyone, that is it for the Diablo 3 class preview. I'll probably have another Diablo video up later in the week to discuss some other things just because I'm really excited about the game and I will have full coverage of the game uh, once the servers go live I will have uh, multiple videos starting with Act 2 I know people are you know a lot of people play the beta and people have seen the videos for the beta so I'll start with Act 2 I'll have full coverage of the game on the release day May 15th so as always guys hit that like button hit that sub button leave me some comments let me know what you guys want to see and as always take care good night